All right, guys, as you can see, I'm working some JB Weld, putting some cars back together, and I wanted to talk a little bit about some of the problems that I've been experiencing with the next-gen bodies going back together. Um, so I made a couple of these little small pieces of wood because my clamps... Here's, here's my clamp. My standard clamps I don't think are are wide enough and what's happening is especially on this back it, is that I'm not getting um, I'm not getting it seated it's not staying in place and I pretty much have to clamp all of these next-gen bodies back together just because they won't stay so this is um, this is just one of your regular 2021 or earlier and um, most of the time I don't have to clamp these they snap back in place very nicely I can just put the JB weld and 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 move on um, I've got a PTC mold here and I just just put that in there and got the the JB weld on the inside and then when I put this back in I add more here but I'm noticing a little bit more of a difficulty with the next-gen cars in clamping them back together. So I'm going to modify, try to improve so those things can stay. So here's one here. Now, just a, a quick a quick word about, um, and I've had some you know people encourage me over the years to consider uh, using uh, screws. So basically, you know, tapping these things and uh, having screws, and then you know, then you put the little screws in whether it's a little allen wrench or whatever you know I I've never actually tried that and it's primarily because in order to do that when you drill it out you have to make sure that you don't completely destroy the inner portion of that where your screw head has some space to grab you know to, to clamp down on because if you drill too much, then you just ruin it, right? So I would probably have to use a, a smaller drill bit and make sure that that wouldn't happen. But, um, you know, if I continue to have problems with, with these and this little method doesn't work, then uh, I might just have to give that a whirl. So I guess I didn't get this together too well. But here's how I work the JB weld on these on these next gen cars just get a little bit actually that's quite a bit over top of that I had already glued it but I mixed up plenty of JB weld so might as well overdo it and then Get some on this post here. And then slide this together. So it looks pretty good there. But again, it, it just won't stay. You know, if I, if I don't have pressure on it, it lifts. You see that? It's lifting. So I have to have some pressure. So I kind of cut these to length here. Some of my old wood flooring. So I can still access that. And then I 
get my I got some little some paper here so my clamp there we go that's good actually I think I need to go back a little bit It's on the roof. Okay. So that's in a good place. Can add more here. Because inevitably, if I just clamp on the inside without that block of wood. It kind of, it kind of, it, it squeezes here, and but it doesn't, it doesn't, uh, it, in squeezing there, kind of lifts a little bit on the back, a little bit on the front, and and with this wood, it spreads out that force across there and really holds all of it down in place. So, and you can see how it goes over the, goes over where the kind of the axles are, so it holds that in place too. So. I like it. And since I have three clamps, I made three little pieces of wood. So I should be good. I have a problem with throwing stuff away and so I've got like a little box of like wood, scrap wood and stuff that Yeah, I don't know. I like to use stuff I've got laying around, you know, kind of like this, these wires <laughs> that I use. Uh, I've got telephone wire here I've had for, good lord, probably 20 years. Things come in handy. People in my basement, I kind of have to apologize. It's like, hey, you know, I kind of have a junk pile down here. But things kind of. find their use over time. That's why I never want to move. <laughs> if I had to move, what a mess. <laughs> so I've got a few more to work, but that's just a um, just a word to the to those of you that, that use JB Weld to put those next gens back together. Hey, um, real quick, I'll show you. I'm in the process of sealing this up, uh, Isaac. Uh, real happy with how this turned out. Spoiler back there turned out pretty well. Got to paint a little bit underneath there, but should be done in a few days here to get that and get these all shipped out to you, Isaac. And then I want to just holy cow, whoever sent these, whoever had uh, made these, I guess it's uh, JH Designs. These are really super nice uh, decals. Um, I don't think they're the they're the the best uh, quality from my perspective. I think, that, but their fitment is ridiculously well, uh, ridiculously good. And you can see here on this on this car, um, this number three promo. But the way that these decals that the side lined up with the with the decal across the the front here and then at the next row holy cow very nice very nice it's not it's not perfect but it's some of the best that I've seen when you're transitioning from the side uh, uh, to the nose and anything in this little area where it's all curved and stuff um, they lined up really nice it was almost perfect across here with this decal so I, I was really impressed but uh, this is uh, how she stands and again like I said I'm in the process of sealing it and give me a couple days and I'll get all these things uh, out the door to you Isaac I appreciate your patience you've been waiting a long long time uh, for these customs so we're getting there 
Um, let's see, what else I got going on? Oh, building one of these Matt Kenseth fantasy cars. Working the hardest piece on this area here. What a mess. Um, those are really difficult. And then I made this Chris Busher Roush performance. And this is cool. <laughs> this is such a cool car. It's a Roush um, Stage 3 Mustang that he drove um, last year. No, two years ago. 2021. But, yeah. Orange and black. Just a sweet scheme. Had to do a little bit of black painting to get these sides to line up with the back here. And I painted a little bit underneath to, to mask any of that. But, yeah, sweet. And this is on the die cast chassis. So, rubber tires, metal body, nice. Just finished that, so I'm going to let that dry and then I'll be sealing that guy up too so one of the next ones I'm doing is I'm going to mix and match some decals here and make one of these hail melons and so I've got this one put together and did some pre-painting the black but be doing that over the next few days too. So yeah, it's uh, it's coming right along. Um, trying to get these that I've had painted and um, you know detailed or not detailed, but uh, painted and and detailed on the interior back together. So. That's what I'm working tonight. Uh, my Steelers are out of the playoffs, even though they won today and finished nine and eight. They did not make the playoffs. So, oh well. Oh well. That was a bummer. They needed the New York Jets to beat the Dolphins. And, uh, of course, Jets are not that good. The Dolphins aren't that good either. <laughs> but, yeah, you can see how this 2021 Chevy just, and just snapped in. And I don't need to clamp it at all. So, really easy to put these back together. I was actually at um, Harbor Freight, not, not Harbor Freight, yeah, it was Harbor Freight, yeah. Harbor Freight and Walmart looking around. And um, I might be buying some more clamps just because looks like I'll be clamping a lot of these next-gen cars. Boy, this is really sticky. I'm trying to get it to lay flat. Sometimes I wet my finger and then I can push it down. Because this JB Weld isn't made for, uh, for wet applications and so it doesn't really stick at all to wet applications. So... This is going to be uh, Sedaris yours. This is the um, going to be the beard oil. Noah Gregson beard oil. I 
I did a lot of black painting. And blue too. A little bit of blue. Dappy T keys going. I don't listen to it all the time, but when I do, what a blessing. Okay. See, see when I push this, it just doesn't doesn't want to stay down. And if I clamp in the middle, it kind of lifts up a little bit on the back. So it's, it's kind of frustrating. Whoa. This one's barely, it's almost too thick. Makes it just barely between there. So yeah, clamping. That's so what you gotta do, I think, on these. Unless again, you're gonna you're gonna try the screws, tapping them and screwing them back together. If you can see, what I'll do is I'll take those two little bottles, spread them apart like that. And I'll take this and, and set it in between. So that way the car is relatively flat when the JB Weld is driving, drying. And it can dry, you know, straight up and down and, and dry relatively level. So... How I do that. Alright guys, let's close this video with a with a verse. Some of the some of the verses I have to memorize are um, are verses that encourage me to memorize. <laughs> so this topic of my Bible memory verse is to memorize scripture. Psalm 119, 9 to 11 Wherewithal shall a young man cleanse his way by taking heed thereto according to thy word. With my whole heart have I sought thee, O let me not wander from thy commandments. Thy word have I hid in mine heart, that I might not sin against thee. (sighs) 
this starts with a question. How shall a young man cleanse his way? God wants us to live lives of purity. And it's not an easy thing to do. This world attacks our purity incessantly, consistently. And so the scriptures give us the answer. It's not some magic pixie dust. We have to take heed to thy word. The word of God. And this is why some people don't like the word of God. Some people ignore the word of God. Because it is so contrary to our flesh. To our sinful uh, tendencies. So if we can discipline ourselves to take heed to the word of God. That's the beginning. That's the way that we can live a pure life. We can purify our way. We can... It's not talking about cleaning up our past. It's talking about going forward in a, in a life of purity. And then the, the psalmist says, almost like a prayer, With my whole heart have I sought thee. Oh, let me not wander from thy commandments. So there's an honest statement here that the psalmist says that, God, I am seeking you. I'm inquiring. I'm searching for you. Notice he says he's searching for God himself, not his word, not purity, not anything but God himself. With my whole heart of I sought thee. Oh, let me not wander. So he's asking God for help. Don't let me go astray from your commandments. That's a great prayer in the time of temptation and attack. Don't let me wander from your commandments, Lord. And then he says, Thy word have I hid in mine heart, that I might not sin against thee. So we, we see the psalmist, he has so desired God, he has so sought after him with his whole heart, he has hid his word in his heart. He has laid it up, he has concealed it, he has taken the word and just digested it and made it his own. And that's really the memorization of scripture and it's not just rote memory but it's again and again repeating it dwelling upon it thinking about it it's so important with the whole purpose that we would not sin against the Lord God asks that we live lives of purity and as I as I fight and as I enjoy um, not enjoy but as I well, I enjoy my life, but in, in um, partake in the battle, in the fight of life, day by day, um, I know that the Word of God, memorizing the Word of God, is going to help me live a life that honors Him, keeps us from sin, keeps us from impurity. And I pray that for you guys as well. God bless. We'll talk to you in the next video. Out here.